Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Moved by love, family of child with Celebra Parsley gets new home after fire tragedy. The birth of a child is one of the most joyous events for a family. However, there are so many uncertainties that comes with childbirth. A family rarely prepares for the daily challenges of attending to a child living with cerebral palsy. Orion Hansen lays in bed the frail 12-year-old, who appears to be no older than 6 years old, is living with cerebral palsy. His head falls off the pillow, but he is not able to raise himself back to the pillow. He is unable to lift himself to the spot where he spends most of his days. Forced to be in bed almost all the time, Orion experiences stiffness in his joints and is unable to move on his own. Though he is unable to chew, move, walk, talk or open his fingers, he smiles with his an optimistic child who is surrounded by love. Affectionately called Boo by his six siblings, he depends on his primary caregiver, his mother, Tristan Bennett, and he is happy when his sisters and brothers assist in caring for him. Though Orion could not speak about that devastating day when the three-room wooden structure they called home went up in flames, his mother recounts rushing into the engulfed structure to save Orion, who was laying on the bed grasping for ear, then returning to relieve her child's birth certificate and other important documents. A few months after the horrific tragedy, Food for the Poor Moved by Love shared the family's demise with Boom Energy Drink, which made the decision to sponsor a new home for the family. Brand manager for the Boom asserts that Boom is a Jamaican produced and owned brand and is determined to give back to our local communities and support those who are uplifting the vulnerable. We are living in unprecedented times. Times like these reminds us of the values needed to help others to persevere, such as empathy and compassion. Nestled in the hills of the Hall Santa Cruz, Orient's new home was gifted to him and his family in time for Christmas. The family now enjoys a contemporary designed two-bedroom house equipped with a solar panel that powers small electronics and light bulbs inside the home, as well as a water tank for water harvesting, an indoor kitchen and bathroom facilities. Trisha and a praying woman, is thankful for the kindness that has been shown towards her family. As the full-time caregiver for a disabled child who needs constant care, she is unable to seek full-time employment. Trisha Ann explained that, as a single mother, taking care of a child with a disability is very stressful. I have to push myself because I love him. At times he will cry, but we don't know what is wrong with him, so we have to be by his side all the time to feed him and to change him so he doesn't have bed sores. This fire is not the first tragedy to strike the family. In 2016, Trisha Ann's partner and the father of six of her children was shot dead at their St. Elizabeth home on his way from work. This loss has put a strain on not only her family, but their finances since he was the sole breadwinner for the household. Ryan Hansen, the father of my children, was killed on April 12, 2016. I was left to fend on my own with my children. If it was not for a good family and friends, I would have been left to suffer. Father begs to see one-year-old child. The last time I saw my son's mother was last year in November. And it was last year, November, I think it was the 15th. Not quite sure, but, um, you know, we had some situation, some disagreement. So what happened is that um, we have some disagreement concerning the work issue. Um, it can be very straightforward with that. Very, very, very straightforward. I read anything else at all. You know? um, so what happened is that, you know, we had a disagreement and she left, left, you know, after, like when I come home from work, come home and you when know, I see her, she just gone. I stuffed them gone. My stuff them was there. You never know when they dug up or nothing like that. So it happened. Around it was on a Saturday night. And I came in from work and you know I say none of our stuff them. Nothing. Where were you both living at the time? I was living at um in Independent City. 
independent city was living. What happened is that we have some local the home was a bit in a deplorable state. You know, we come to agreement and say by heart then you know, we know a couple of places where a few of them and me used to work at like OC, you know. And set her up on some and you know, actually have a direct car, you know, tell her who to look for and so on. Anyways, she she do interviews. So what happened is that she went about two two of them and when she did the interviews she she um like tell me Mr. Art then interviews and work out and so on. Then after it's like some of them she said Art then she's supposed to come back from the train. But luckily that I know is that she didn't went back. By when people and called me and say, Oh is it that she don't come? You know? So it, it caused an argument, it started a, a little argument from the end now. You know. The you whole know, pandemic thing it kinda it frustrating. You know, the first really because it was really me alone dealing with everything, which me never mind doing it. So where me was staying was not expensive, but she never comfortable there. So we come to argument and say, alright, you what happened? When you start work, we just move out. And then flow through from this one. Come on the best for our child. In my first job. So I don't know. Just to get up on Friday evening, I think it was on Saturday then. I carry my son go. I came stay with my sister because she had go up on the, the, the start of the work process. But she never go. I said she never turned that evening. So my question was always to she where she did go? You know, so from that time, from she realized and find out that it's like she just always have a plan to start an argument. You know, and we can't say this straightforward. A lot of persons are gonna raise and they're gonna ask questions and they're gonna say, I couldn't that why she got. Like I just saw enough people not reminded and the audience just think one way. But about fathers who are looking for the best of them, child. I mean, never my father. I mean, no grandfather, grandparents. I grew up with my grandparents. You know? So, if me even find and know where she is right now, me not have anything for either. Right in front of the court, present her right in front of the court. Make sure that anything will happen. You understand? Anything at all will happen in a, fact, in a, in a sense where. I can't hide and tell myself so boy, I know I'm doing something wrong. So, I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. My heart can set me free for no sake. I want to see my son and make sure I say, I'm all right. You understand? So, that was basically it because from the first instance from me, my baby mother, she was the quiet type. The quiet type, she didn't argue a lot. You understand? She didn't argue a lot and I didn't say So. The, the fact of the matter is that when it, it, it come down to the part where, you know, me did I earn, I mean, like before the pandemic, I earn and so on, and was a waiter. Well, I have my experience with okay, you, yeah, certified. So, you know, can I get a skirt thing a little break and so on, and you know, waiter and experience and mix it, mix all this, you know, mixing experience and a few bars, various bars in Kansas Spring inside. So go there and get game experience and so so you know all of that. We also throw us art and shall sun and everything. You know, 2019, April the 9th, 2019, remember. So we kinda just make you relax and do what we're supposed to do. But when things you start really get hard now, many of you really still have pressure. When the little pandemic, the little thing kind of start, I will like ease, you know, the, the last part or so, you know, the 2020, like about October. And my ear, sell her on it. We, my target was to move out of that place where I was living. Since she has left in November, have you contacted her and have you gotten in contact with her in any form? Here, I want time. Hear from her one time, and me hear from her the one time it was actually like 
where the baby have, she leave a receipt. I say, I'm going to buy that for the child. What else, you know? What else, you know? What him do have? She was like, um, she don't want me to send the money for the child. So I said, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not working. Oh, you know what I'm saying? The money for the child. I actually have to literally force her to take the money. I have to convince her to take the money. So, where did you meet her to give her that money? How did you send it? Well, through West Union. I asked my brother to send it through because I never have my, my ID. I lose my ID. And I think some, I did last my ID and Terry. So, I ended up asking. Where did you send the money to do? To do? Where did you yeah, send, where the, did money? You send where? the money? Um, to Mandeville. Mandeville? Right. So you suspect that she's in Mandeville? Right. Does she have family in Mandeville that you know about? She has family in Mandeville. Um, at first, the sister and the mother, they reached out to me. Right. And, um, the first time I called her, she, she picked up the phone that, that the next day when she leave. The day, well, when she leave the Saturday, that, that was the Sunday after. She pick up the phone and said to her, I said, um, where is, where is my son? And I first now, I said, if you have your mother, let me know. And she said, she's not there, mother. But like, she never hung up the phone, so I hear the mother voice in the back room. I said, but me and my mother on the other phone line, I hear you. I talk to your mother. So you need to just put with all them little selfish attitude aside. And so I just leave my son. And if it is that you want to be by yourself, fine, no problem with that. Just need to take care of my son. You understand? So that was just the last time I actually get to hear and actually to convince her to take the money. So that was November last year? That was, yeah. Alright. So like Has she changed year. her number? No. Does she? So have you tried calling her? Try call her, but you what now? When she blocked the number, I ended up with a private number. Mm -hmm. So that's the only way to the ring. So have you tried? How many times have you tried after that? Countless times? Countless times, up to yesterday. Mm -hmm. Countless times. So when you call yesterday, what happened? Went straight to voicemail? Yeah, but let me tell you. Today is what? Wednesday. Friday or Saturday. Let me try to call her. It's a call waiting. And that's on a private number. I actually have to use other people's phone. Not calling her from a car because of the phone. And I put in like somebody else just to try to get her address. So what would you want to tell her if you can send a message to her now? Hmm? I just want to take care of something. I just want to see him. I just want him to know so he can see him father. And even when he, you know, when he starts school, he know he can have something to talk about. Him, you know? Where him father work, him father do, where him father go. It's the only thing we want. We can have a history. I mean, I'm going to start the history. We just want to continue that journey there as, a, as a father. Haiti Extradition Treaty, not on front burner, stated Chang. SOE has indicated have a way of using the intelligence to interrupt the, the hard work killers. Mario Alesha, yeah. what's, the, what's the hold up with his transfer? No, we have no treaty with Haiti, and you can't just send, take another city and send to another country to pay the charge. And, um, you know, and if his host country, if his Home country asks for him, they have to them. There's been no hold up in the area. I think um, he has been charged, charged elsewhere, and I think the charges have been laid um, in North America. I can check and confirm, and we have an extradition treaty. And therefore, the value to go there. But we'll have to wait and see if the request comes from him. Do you see an issue with Col the Colombian authority if, if we should be extradited there to hand him over no, to if, the if he's you know, the, uh, extradition, the conditions for extradition are clear. Mm -hmm. If he has a formal charge, we have, you know, we have no choice, and it's very legal. And uh, you know, Colombia, would, Colombia understands that, and they are part of a lot of international treaties uh -huh. themselves. So that would be a challenge. What is the next step from Jamaica as it relates to have him leaving our shores to to to? No, whoever, whoever establish a formal charge. And if we have an extradition treaty with them, then we send him to that country. If not, we deport him to Colombia. Can you recall any criminal cases of uh, concern between Haiti and Jamaica in the past which have been stifled as a result of not having a treaty? No, because I said the Jamaican, the Jamaican, the Jamaican um, criminal elements that go to Haiti is transient. Haiti is a 
one of the ways they go to Haiti to the Bahamas, the United States, they don't stay there very long. Um, there are one or two in the case of who kind of became a, another one did one who was a contact for um, marijuana trading, but he didn't stay there long enough. I think he was, in fact, again, the only stability. I think he was killed over there. Mm -hmm. right. So they're not a, they, it's not a, they're not yet to turn up their base. And if you try to make it a base, elements of their own, local elements like the dominator, that's what the mm -hmm. variations who will perform the, you might call it the, the, um, the transit support services. But they don't want ministry in the Australian here. It's a very, it's a function. It's a, they're very nationalistic. For good reason, they're the first black republic. So they, they actually protect their Haitian nationalist character very well. Yes. It's just that they have been the victim of a lot of international neglect, almost undermining because they're the first black republic. Mm -hmm. Is the government seeking to close the gap though, not as it relates to the treaty, an extradition treaty? And that, that's and, not on the front burner right now. That's not the front burner, okay, okay. Uh, I said this, there's no real urgency for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? I mean, it ought to be that because of this incident with the Colombian guy, which is on you just. Where does the government go now that we, you don't have the tool of the SOE? Well, there, are, there are several tools that the government disposes of. We just consider the tool of the SOE in certain areas. Is that part of it but we continue working with what we have um, we use we just had a um, curfew one in, 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 somewhere in St. Catherine where it's known yes somewhere in St. Catherine uh, the nights are gone. we do them regularly curfew calling and searches we increase activity operational activity in some areas we have the government according to this that we have a really interesting that so the operations continue at a high level <laughs> We're doing that for several months coming into the SOE. The SOE has indicated how we have used the intelligence to interrupt the, the hardcore killers before they kill someone. That's the, that's the primary benefit of it. And then give them some space in which to do further investigation as well. So, um, but it doesn't. It doesn't open up a lot, plus it, and it of course has the question of allowing the army to be an add-on rather than a statistic of the police, but it doesn't change the work of the police, it does add an added tool. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.